Please uh, give a warm welcome to Vladimir. Okay. Hi everyone, thanks for having me. Uh, okay, this is my time. And this is my time, yeah. I was asked to tell something interesting, so yeah. Sorry, I, for the last me, I was thinking very long for uh, what just uh, describe. And I think that right now with all the situation, at least for Ukrainians, it's very important to uh, keep to keep calm yeah, and uh, uh, be effective at least. So I decided to tell my story because uh, I have uh, interesting stories. So first of all, I am actually uh, I'm Ukrainian living in Germany. So I have been living in Dusseldorf for uh, six years and till even now I don't know uh, German well. So I'm just have a lot of work. Be why? Because I'm actually a founder. So for the last uh, five years I've working on, I was working on my own uh, startups and uh, yeah, trying to survive without uh, any support and partners. And also I'm a father of two kids. This is actually at least a bio biological one. So I'm not sure that I do enough work being a father, but still I'm a father. <laughs> By the way, uh, who is, the, I, uh, listen, there was a question that there are a lot of founders, but who, uh, please raise your hand who is a uh, founder and have a kid, at least one. Ah, and who has two? Good. <laughs> I know you understand me uh, better. So, and being a sole founder, I'm also actually a guy that doing a lot of stuff. I am a CEO, I am a business development manager. I actually forgot to change to actually develop a business manager. I am a SDR, I am actually a product manager and so on. Also I am a financial manager, something like that. So we grew from six, uh, from three people to 11 right now, but still I'm doing a lot of work. So actually also I'm a housemaker. I am working at home due to COVID times and my kids is living with me in my office. I share a co-working space with them. So actually, <laughs> yeah, it's quite, you understand that uh, this is, this is actually, it's okay. So, yeah. Uh, so what's the problem I face in my uh, uh, ordinary life? So actually I am dealing with uncertainty. I don't know what is going to be for the next day because I have already saw uh, revolution. I was a startup in 2014. I saw actually COVID times. I saw war. So uncertainty is actually my uh, best colleague. The second one is multitasking. I have to learn how to do a lot of different works and still uh, focus when it's uh, available. The third time is a lack of resources. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough time to do everything. By the way, I just came here uh, from uh, Warsaw Centralna by uh, actually Bolt uh, scooter. And I uh, remember this uh, very nice uh, uh, feeling when I had a bicycle. Unfortunately, I had to sell bicycle to cover my bills. And uh, also uh, big distance, 2000 kilometers between Dusseldorf and uh, Kiev where I have found it, uh, get in my company. It's also created a lot of obstacles. So before COVID times, every two weeks, I had a flight between Kiev because it's impossible. It's really impossible to uh, start up uh, a company, to register a company without being uh, very close to, the, to your clients. You have to listen to them very carefully. You have to ask. You kiss them every day, something like that. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, and uh, 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 and of course, actually, my the biggest problem is absence of silence. Uh, by the way, okay, <laughs> that's all. Uh, as a father of two kids, you have to understand that it's actually a problem. So I put here a quote of the Elon Musk. I think you know about that. That it's really sometimes you feel very stressful, but. Uh, all this creates a lot of problems, even a lack of resources. For example, you know that uh, success rate is only 10%, just a general statistic data you can check if you want. But the funny thing, 
interesting. What I found that uh, second time startups they have twice more uh, probability of having a success. Why? I think because they use something interesting. They use some uh, frameworks. If I called it what I'm also like uh, using everyday life to to be more effective, to be more actually. Uh, mm, to be more calm and uh, to stay on a rational part of my brain, not emotional, because when it's, everything goes out of control, it's very difficult to keep, uh, to keep calm, yeah. So actually, uh, framework is actually best uh, a set of different kind of uh, tactics when you decide what to do in some types of problems. But also, they, it's very difficult to use only framework without uh, principles because, pr because principles is judge and help you, is it good or not? Of course, I can, for example, I don't know, I saw a competitor, I saw a competitor on a uh, dark street. Maybe I can kill him. But it's not, it's wrong. Your principles say, don't kill, don't kill. <laughs> okay, principles. So framework with principles, works well because principles is actually values that organized in some actually system and this all structure helps you to respond to address different uh, problems what you see and from from my perspective why actually second time startups are more successful because they saw this this uh, they have already solved this kind of problems they have experience this experience they packed in some kind of uh, uh, manuals, how they have to deal with this kind of problem. And in this case, they become more effective. I hope uh, it will continue while you remember your actually sins. So, wait. Okay, let's go. So, first, uh, right now I would like to share my actually uh, frameworks. I'm dealing with some of uh, problems. First one is dealing with anxiety and that's, yeah? Anxiety and stress. This is the most important one because, first of all, you have to, as a founder, as actually, and don't remember that I'm a father, you have to make decision every, every fucking day. A lot of uh, decision. But you are the only person who is doing the, making this decision. That is why, first of all, you have to be, uh, to have a good sleep. Sleep is a just fundamental sense. Initial part of your life, you have to uh, sleep at least seven, eight hours. Think about your coffee regime, think about your eating habits. For example, someone is like, uh, his best friend is refrigerator before the night, but it's not the best friend, believe me. Better just not to eat before stress. The second one is actually some practice that helps you to at least stay calm and thinking about or better even not thinking, just take your time, take your time with closed eyes. Uh, if you want to just find some supporting materials, uh, a lot of neuroscience said that at least closing eyes and keep calm is makes you even better and you can judge, you can just more, be more effective on the several uh, hours after it. The, uh, the third one is breathing. This is actually the best one is I found this kind of techniques in 2020 when COVID times have started and I have to work at home. I lost about 70% of my uh, MRR from clients because they have been afraid of all these uh, changes. And uh, what I found that when you see a problem, there is two best way options. In my previous life, there was like drinking, drink vodka, drink actually beer, something like that, and just to keep calm. But it's not working when you need to be effective on the following uh, hours. First of all, if there is a problem and you can't do nothing without that, go sleep. Go sleep for 20, 15 minutes, it works well. The second one is breathing techniques. Uh, I use Wim Home. there are a lot of deep breathing techniques, but it's really things that physically influence your mind and you are calm down. You uh, get rid of stress, and after that, you at least are manageable to write, you are manageable to type, and, uh, and it means that you are right now can be thinking and make a rational uh, decision. And of course, uh, I have, and the fellows we, uh, with me have a very good, this is a secret weapon of ours, is kids. Kids is uh, like a switch on off. This is uh, best trans. Uh, translator when you are like from one 
type of uh, you are entrepreneur, bam, you take kids and you are just a father. Even if you are biological or not, kids work like this. So actually kids is very good and of course decreased uh, your time with social media. This is actually distract you from uh, logic thinking, distract you from focus. Please uh, decrease time. This is actually uh, when you calm. Uh, now the second actually techniques uh, no framework I wanted to share with you and also the same I am doing uh, and share with my colleagues is actually uh, what we have to do when we take a new task or project. It's a very simple question. By the way, I'm using this with my kids. I'm asking, I'm just uh, learning them how to ask yourself questions. What? Why? Why I have to do that? What? They have uh, repeatedly asked yourself questions before doing something. This creates a list of understanding what they, are go what they are going to do. And this is the best platform to communicate after. Before, this is actually like a robot. And what sense to have robots in your company? And uh, I think you know, but uh, the last one, what seems not to forget is uh, every time uh, ask yourself where and uh, when, because timeline is very important in this. This uh, the second one, because I'm just hurry up, I see my time is up. Uh, planning. So here is also interesting things I found out about uh, from uh, neuroscience and also from uh, other part of techniques that better to live, uh, better to love actually process. Uh, fall in love with process, fall in love with what you do every day, fall in love in particular uh, sequence of things you are doing every day, but not in actually in a uh, result, because outcome you are eager to reach is actually make you uh, a person which are uh, dependent on achieve, achieving, achieving. But when you are working with startups, it works in different way. Today you are like uh, a god, the second day you lost everything. So it's actually very, very strange. And you feel a lot of stress. But when you lo love actually process, it doesn't matter. What? COVID? Okay. War? Bad. Okay. So actually it's really work. If you love process, you can stick to it and uh, work and work and easily. And it's uh, connected with dopamine, it's connected with your interest, it's connected with your eager to do something. So it's actually very good. And in startups, uh, the second one, what I wanted to just point you this actually don't plan for very long time because uh, a lot of uncertainty and you can't to control long term perspective. Okay, just uh, keep some goals. I want to build largest international company in the CE region, something like that. But after that, come build your plan for three months, two, half a year, and that's all, because it's also a lot of things, especially I'm talking, I'm not effective uh, person, I'm not a uh, super uh, effective entrepreneur, but for me it works. I just uh, can reach my goals more effectively in this kind of techniques. And uh, also one more thing, don't forget to evaluate your achievements regularly. Every day, every week, every month, it cr creates also uh, feelings that you are doing something and you are doing on the right way. Because if you are like doing something and without any results, it's better to think and what are you, are, what are you doing. And uh, dealing with uncertainty is actually very easy. It's also useful for my kids. First of all, is uh, face reality, don't uh, run away from it, just look at it, uh, how it looks like, how you feel, what is the taste, what is actually uh, the other feeling. Try to evaluate it, how big, uh, how, how, how it will cost you, something like that. And after that you can at least uh, assess some alternatives, how to deal with it. This is actually quite important. And uh, for me it's worth to communicate some of my options with my colleagues or friends, mentors, something like that. And uh, I predict that during my actually further work, because we are on the early stage startup, my values and uh, frameworks will become different. They become actually, uh, I don't think different, but a new values will come because we have to deal with and work with bigger uh, quantity of person, b uh, better stuff, something like that, but at least uh, uh, actually, it works right now, it's good. I think that's all. 
only what we are doing, we actually help multi-allocation. This is actually <laughs> very good. So we are help uh, multi-allocation business to communicate and to manage their online presence and online communication. Yeah. So this is the biggest companies in uh, petrol, uh, finance, retail, uh, energy service in uh, in Poland, we work with, with Pekao Bank already, yeah, so I hope we will do some more business. And uh, thank you very much. Uh, on the last, yeah, the last things I wanted to say, thank you again for support of Poland for the first time, the same. Thank you, Vlad, also. Yeah. Uh, in the first uh, days of war, I, I drove almost 5,000 kilometers right now in my places live in uh, uh, five people and uh, I know what is actually help refugees and what actually I saw that time it was it was really outstanding support. Thank you very much Poland. Uh, thank you Vlad, I have some questions for you because I also like uh, frameworks and uh, can you describe your daily frameworks uh, in your life that uh, helps you cope with uh, you know two childs and so on. What frameworks do you have in your uh, uh, everyday life? In my everyday life? Yeah, you have a life? I, I don't actually uh, have, I try to skip this term every day because every day creates some routine and routine okay. makes actually not interesting. And okay. when you skip, but fr but frameworks a, are some kind of a routine. But this is yeah? actually works. You woke up at seven o'clock, at six thirty, six four. If you are the first, you just put a, uh, Prepare some. If okay, you so you don't have any frameworks. Uh, this is uh, framework. First of all, you, you have to feed up uh, basic framework. You have to feed up your kids. It's okay, actually okay. like a routine. Okay, it's unpredictable thing. Yeah. It's predictable. They want to eat every fucking morning. Okay. <laughs> 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 I think uh, this is the most predictable thing. <laughs> okay. After eat, they want to pee pee and caca. This is the second predictable thing. <laughs> okay. Scene. But framework is first of all, uh, don't take your phone, especially right now uh, during the war. Uh, uh, okay, don't uh, forget about him. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Of course, it's, I, it's impossible to forget about him. Uh, but I have yeah, another so question. The, yeah, don't don't take your phone. Please leave the phone. The second one, what I'm just trying to reach, go out, and you have to see the sun because sunlight is very like uh, works. Uh, in a biological way, way very good. It's like to uh, uh, turn on your engine, internal engine, and makes you clear. And don't uh, drink uh, coffee first. Just leave two hours before in the morning after you woke up to leave coffee. And the second why, of course, I have actually a daily routine. I take my list of A4 before after kids went to okay. the garden or something. Uh, what kind of tools uh, do you use for uh, these uh, frameworks? Do you have any tools that you can recommend us? For me, it's actually a sheet of paper, A4, and printer, laser printer. Because if it's not laser, you have to just pop up your cartridge very often. Okay, I have another question here from Janek. Uh, Thank you very much, Piotr. Thanks a lot. Um, I really like your slide about uh, what, how, and why. And there's a great book by Simon Sinek. I'm pretty sure that all of you definitely should read it. But, uh, and I really like the, your slide. Uh, and I want to ask what is your why? What uh, is your why? My, stop. my, my no wife, why? My, my why of what? No. It's On your slide, if you come back to your slide, there's something, ask yourself the questions. Yeah. So, so what is your why? I know my, my why. No, no, but uh, actually you're talking about startup, about uh, living, so what why? So actually my wife is uh, don't lose your life. Life happens every day, every minute. Don't lose. Fucking love it, seriously. Thank you. This is exactly what you have said. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, do you have uh, any questions for Vlad? Okay. Women's first. Thank you. Uh, can you tell more about your uh, team in Ukraine? What happened after the war began? Where they are? Wh have you helped them anyhow? No. <laughs> <laughs> how many of those? Like, how many developers no, so do you have there? Actually, uh, actually, again, framework. So uh, it's uh, again about framework. When we saw uh, me and Mike, uh, okay, when we saw that something is going to happen. 
a month before starting of war, we had a talk with my CTO because a big part of uh, technical team is, situa is and were situated in Kiev. So we discussed what if, what if the war start? What if uh, something happened, what we're gonna to do? And we already like developed a plan, what we're gonna do. So uh, we decided and communicate this actually, yeah, we communicate plan, uh, this with our colleagues and team, what if the war started, what we were gonna do. Uh, and the technical team, they went to Western part, uh, my uh, actually a part of operational, they were part of in uh, different, uh, sides of Ukraine, but uh, mainly in the uh, western part, and two girls in uh, Spain, Germany, yeah, something like that. So all safe, and we continue working and helping companies, yeah, to deal, maintain their online presence. Great, there are also another uh, yeah. questions. Your question, please. From the audience. Hi, thank you for presentation, and uh, like, being a CEO of a startup, you probably have some metrics, yeah, which helps you track your uh, your growth, yeah, and see how do you perform. And here, probably the main question: Do you ever compare what was before, and uh, like what like and how it looks like right now after you introduced all those frameworks? So do you like do you, do you have a metric to track? In, uh, uh, like your performance, of efficiency, of yes. my personal efficiency. No, I'm not. And that, because how do you understand? It's actually very difficult to achieve. So, um, maybe, maybe level of happiness or something like what? What advice you use? I'm so to uh, telling uh, you that you are. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I understand. But the question is that, since God, I was born already happy. So I <laughs> have a quite high. Yeah. Uh, no, it was it was just so, an example. So but the, qu the question is uh, for me. The question is productivity. So I don't have. A, uh, a, uh, actually attention uh, disorder, but uh, for me it's very difficult to focus, especially when you have a lot of multitasking scenes. So this is actually the most, uh, for me, uh, like metrics. How much of task, because I have different tasks, I just divide them on a very important, it's particular, it's the only things I do, because the rest is only like to have been noted. But uh, yeah, I do an only like important and uh, uh, important. So it's, and, yeah. so it's rather feeling, right? Yeah, yeah, so it's feeling, so I don't track this. Okay, good. Unfortunately, Thank maybe, yeah. Uh, thanks, any other questions for Vlad? If no, I would like to thank you once again with warm uh, thank you. cheers. Thank you. Very great experience. Thanks.